Matt Zarb cousin knows how addictive the new gambling terminals can be. For years, his life was consumed by his addiction to betting on them. He spent every spare penny on his habit. And then you get into the cycle of, of, of the rapid highs and lows. You can bet 100 pounds every 20 seconds. So it's, it's, like, a, it's like a drug. You, you, you become addicted very quickly. There are 33,000 terminals in the UK today, a huge proliferation. They're limited to four in each betting shop, but there are more betting shops on Britain's streets than ever before. They're increasingly sophisticated and high-speed casino-style games offer the allure of big wins, but you can lose quickly too. Critics say they are particularly addictive. Now the politicians are getting involved with the leader of the main opposition Labour Party saying the terminals are spreading like an epidemic causing debt and misery. He wants to give local councils new powers to limit the number of betting shops opening. Ahead of a debate in the British Parliament on Tuesday there did appear to be signs of consensus that something needs to be done. Now one in three calls to the gambling helpline are about these machines and they're clustered in deprived areas. For example, Mr Speaker, there are 348 in one of the most deprived boroughs in the country, Newham. Can he at least give us a timetable for when the government will decide whether to act? We will be reporting in the spring as a result of the review that is underway. And I think it is important we get to grips with this. But the stakes for the gambling industry are very high. Betting terminals now account for over half its annual income, almost $2.5 billion. It doesn't want tighter controls. In the 12 years the machines have been around, no evidence has ever been produced to show that they are any more addictive than any other type of gambling product. Certainly there are people who have problems with gambling, but there are people who have problems with alcohol or obesity, and no one says you should ban pubs or close down restaurants. So I think we need to keep this in perspective. You win. Place your bets. Whatever the politicians decide, problem gambling isn't likely to go away. New technology has made similar games available 24-7 online for anyone with a computer and internet access at home. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.